With a huge focus on bachelor pads, I think it's time to finally slow it down and show you what luxury, comfortable family living looks like right here in the heart of Bryanston. With premier schools surrounding, one of them being St. Stidians, you'll see that Jacarandas lead you into one of the most beautiful homes we've had the privilege of looking at specifically within this price point. So the home you see behind me right now is 5,750,000 rand and it is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, family centered masterpiece. So come with me and let me show you around this incredible piece of architecture. And the last thing I have to say is my name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are coming up to the entry of the home, coming through double doors that are beautifully arched at the top. Now that arch feature continues throughout the home as a design element. And right here at the entry hall, there are some key features to mention here as well. The first double volume ceiling, making something like this feel very, very spacious. And then to make sure the light from that incredible garden doesn't blind you or make this area too hot, we've got some frosting on both of the glass windows, but it's still letting so much natural light, so we really do like that. Off to my left, we've got a mudroom, and that leads into the double garage. Now the mudroom cupboards on both sides, giving you plenty of storage space as well as a window. And then as I mentioned, that goes right off into the double garage where you can park your family sedans because this is a family home. And what is a family home without, as soon as you come through the entry hall, a guest toilet. So let's take a look at that and then we're going to lead into the main area of all of the living rooms. Now your guest bathroom has a single vanity, some storage underneath it, a mirror above it, your toilet you'll find on the far end of the bathroom and just above it an extractor fan keeping this bathroom cool. And now here we are within the main living areas. Something I'd like to talk about is again the play on all the light that a room like this gets. So often when buying a home you don't know what you're getting when it comes through the different hours of the day. But right here we've got wall to wall windows and an area there that leads you out onto your patio that we'll talk about separately. But here it is, your main sitting room area, your TV area, beautifully surrounded by these pillars. And then again, that continuation of the design element, the arches above the windows looking out onto a super green and very luscious back garden. Now this area is absolutely massive as you can see. And then over here is where you'll have your entertainment area, your TV as well as your stereo behind me. I love what they've done with that feature wall, bringing in that greenery and tying in to just how incredible the gardens are. I love how it's been done. But here it is where you're gonna be sitting down with the family, the friends, all of your guests enjoying a meal. So one thing I'd like to talk about and all of the viewers know is I love really good lighting elements. Here it is wrought iron chandelier. And then if I move just across, you'll see this double sliding door leading out onto that back garden I spoke about. Love this back garden. Really such an incredible utilization of space that is so often overlooked. On this side, plenty of space here as well as plug points because we can see right here, one of my favorites, every time I visit a home, you've got to tuck into the wine fridge. But unfortunately, this one is empty, but you know there's a plug point there to service, lighting all the way down this long hallway. And this long hallway leads you into the kitchen area. So. Let's talk about this. As I mentioned, wall-to-wall -wall windows. These two on the corner, these windows open up. Stackable sliding doors, all of them aluminum framed. Again, a lot of you long-time viewers know, aluminum frame, always the best. You know it's gonna last the longest and give you the least amount of issues. We'll talk about the outside area separately. I love this kitchen. What a homely kitchen. What a nice, warm place to be. We've got Caesar stone countertops. 
for you chefs among us, we've got this incredible oven slash gas burner combo with not one, not two, but five gas burners. And again, the continuation of the stainless steel with this extract hob, beautiful artisanal oven. And over here, the Caesar stone countertops continue on this center island. Underneath it's storage, but not just any storage. These storage doors have lattice work, giving you that feeling of a farmhouse without making it feel too rustic. On this side, we've got another stainless steel double door fridge, plenty of space, storage above it. But another really cool feature is on the side of this island is you've got plug points. So if you're gonna use appliances on this island, it's not dead space. You can actually do some meal prep here, which is really cool. So often that is overlooked, yeah? is a chef sink. Guys, what is an exclusive home without your meal prep, your chef sink? You've got a swivel tap as well as a water filtration tap. Over here, if you're doing a lot of meals, you need to have that double sink. So you've got your double sink for wash up, under counter storage for all of the appliances you might need. And then a farmhouse door leading on to that back garden. We like farmhouse doors. If I can get this one open. Opens towards me. Don't say anything, this, is, this stays between you and us, okay. But we've got that farmhouse door, I really like it. Look, glass frame, this is quite rare to see. So this is quite a cool feature, letting in a lot of light in this area, but it's so nice to open this up. If you're doing some work in the kitchen, I really like that you can get that extra bit of fresh air. But now let's push through this kitchen. Again, you can observe just how nice the storage areas are done in this house. I really do feel like each room has got its own personality. Yeah, we are in another lounge area or sitting area. This could maybe be your informal TV room area. Beautiful carpeted space. Another one of those really cool feature walls. Guys, you know, I love lighting elements. So I really like this one over here. Wicker basket light. And then built-in entertainment unit. Two beautiful frosted glass cupboards. And then Coming right back around, we've got this breakfast nook as an extension off of the center island where you can sit down with the family. If you're gonna have a quick breakfast in the morning, if you'd like to eat something while you're whipping it up, right here to service you. But, I mean, if I'm gonna be eating in this house, if I'm gonna be enjoying a meal, if I'm gonna be having a breakfast, even a dinner, guys, how nice is this outside area? One, this garden is without a doubt one of the most immaculately manicured gardens I've ever seen. We've got a beautiful blue pool attached to the patio. Mm, summer's here. Guys, it's so nice to be outside and here we are. As you can see, easily fits an eight-seater and this could quite easily be a ten-seater dining room table outside. Some wicker chairs over here. This is where you're going to be relaxing, enjoying the sunshine. But when it gets too hot, you're going to be walking around. You're going to get to this area and you're just going to right into the pool. I mean, guys, how beautiful is this incredible blue pool behind me? This Oh, the garden is incredible. I love the greenery. I love the feeling of you not being in the city, although you are in one of the most sought after areas in Bryanston. But that wraps up downstairs. There's a whole upstairs area that we're gonna be taking a look at. So follow me, let's go find those stairs and let's take a look at what all the bedrooms in this home look like. So right back by the entry hall, you'll find this set of stairs beautifully laden with wood, both coating or skirting both sides of the stairs as well as this incredible railing, really solid. I love the small textures in a home, really do showcase just the build quality of it and you can see just how solid everything is fit and made. That makes you know when purchasing this home, you're purchasing something of the utmost quality. Now, the staircase, really I'll be doing it an injustice if I didn't talk about this huge frosted window right here. The frosting, painting a tree, so making this a little piece of art. And then once you find the top of the staircase, you'll see that you're in your very own private office suite. Knowing that working from home has become such a commonplace thing within South Africa, this year is gonna serve all your needs when needing to do some work from home. So I love that it's been included. And on my right hand side, what a beautiful wooden bookshelf. Now this wood matching the wood you find throughout the house. And then we've got the step ladder here, really romanticizing this bookshelf. Then you get to the top, and making it again another statement piece. Something for the more security minded, I do wanna let you know that there is a sliding door right here. Keeping your family safe, although within an estate like this with 24 seven security, it's not something you're ever gonna to need to concern yourself with. Moving through the hallway, you'll find on my left, a bathroom that services the two bedrooms right here. So let's take a look at that, and then we're gonna take a look at these two beautiful bedrooms. 
Now this bathroom has two frosted windows opening out with a single vanity set into another Caesar stone countertop. Your bath is off to the right hand side, a nice deep almost jacuzzi bath with your shower head mounted just above it should you need it. And then really cool feature that maybe you'd like in winter is a heater set into the ceiling. So we've taken a look at the first bathroom, let's take a look at the first bedroom. First thing you'll notice coming to this bedroom is we go from stunning tiles to really plush, lush carpets which is exactly what you want within your bedrooms, giving it that homey feel. On my left hand side we've got two three quarter windows that open outwards onto the garden. You get to take views, morning views of that stunning blue pool making you wish you didn't have to go to the office and in this home you don't because you've got your very own office just outside. My Right, you've got a full-on built-in office area here again, I'd say study area for everybody with young kids, you know that you're taken care of. You've both got a normal desk as well as a desk for your computers and then just on the right hand side, as I'd mentioned and as you guys have seen, feature walls, name of the game when it comes into this home and we've got a feature wall right here giving this room quite a bit of character. Behind these two doors is all your cupboard space so you know that that's taken care of and then just outside You've got access to that bathroom we took a look at and then another bedroom right over here. So guys, follow me. Let's take a look at the second bedroom. Now, coming into this second bedroom, the first thing that is immediately noticeable is we went from a room that is so easily suited to a young man, dark, masculine, and now we've walked into a room that is light, airy, and as you can see, designed for a young lady. A couple of cool features here is we went from the wood desks to these gloss white desks, some floating shelves again, taken care of. If your children are in school, you know that the desks are built in. And then we've got these absolutely stunning white plantation shutters hiding the aluminum glass doors. And this room, this room specifically, as well as the master bedroom, the creme de la creme, have access to an outside balcony that we're going to take a look at last. We've got a really poofy lamp just standing there by my cameraman. I think they're sharing spaces, they're brushing. So we'll show a nice little voiceover of that. I love the lighting elements. I love that they are unique to the different bedrooms. We've got another feature wall right there and another window looking down onto the stunning grounds. When you've got a feature like that, you need to utilize it. But that leaves us, that leaves us with two more bedrooms to take a look at. Let's go take a look at the third bedroom upstairs and then guys it's a creme de la creme, it's a master suite, we're going to look at that last. And here we are within the third before last bedroom. Every single bedroom has had a theme and this theme I think is your guest bedroom. You've got a bedroom that is easily been made to suit a neutral party so you know when your friends are coming over it's going to make them feel comfortable it's going to make them feel at home from the carpeting to the colors to even the feature wall everything is neutral you've got some cupboard space on the left hand side here in case they extend their stay maybe they're coming from out of town maybe they're coming from overseas you're going to know their needs are taken care of and by that I mean that this is the first bedroom we've taken a look at besides the master bedroom that comes with your very own on suite bathroom. Behind me, single vanity, really nicely done, classy, looks good, mirror above it, toilet in the corner, frosted glass window that opens outwards, and then tucked away right here, hidden from view, is a walk-in shower that is beautifully lit so that you know when your guests are here, they don't need to leave, they don't need to be sharing bathrooms with anyone they're taking care of. Now, the wall facing me, as you can see by the beautiful light hitting me, has got two windows set into it, looking down onto that stunning green back garden. But that wraps up every bedroom except one. You know which one that is. Come along with me, let's take a look at it. And here it is, the long hallway to the final product, the cherry on top. We're passing again these stunning plantation shutters and I love how you can see right here, they close up and give you that privacy but yet also make this look so much brighter and so much neater. But this is it guys, the master suite, the creme de la creme, the thing every private property home shopper show ends on and that is the master suite. We've got air conditioning right there. Now keep in mind as well, air conditioning throughout the house, you'll see little dials on the wall, almost smart dials that you can utilize to set the temperature to that comfortable zone. This room is absolutely massive, really good utilization of space right here. And this sliding door on the right hand side really just adds to how bright and fresh this room feels. But what is a master suite without a walk-in closet? And obviously it is included right here. We've got cupboard space all the way down this part of the hallway. And then over here, a beautiful nook lit from above 
with more cupboards. As you can see, I can David Copperfield and just poof, disappear and reappear. And behind me, again, Master Suite comes with a master bathroom and this one is stacked out with all the amenities. We've got a double vanity again, Caesar stone countertops, under counter storage, continuing that design theme of the farmhouse feel. Two beautiful mirrors, both his and hers. And then behind me, we've got a glass roomed walk-in shower and you can jump into at any point of time if you want to get ready and get done quickly. But if you want to soak, if you want to sit down, if you want to relax, have a bubble bath, right here we've got a sunken, beautiful oval bath right next to another frosted window that opens outwards, letting in all that beautiful air, but yet giving you the privacy that you need. Now behind me, we've got the toilet area, toilet tucked away on the right hand side with a door here that you can close for privacy. But that leaves one last thing guys, where we say goodbye and that's going to be on that balcony. Now the balcony is shared with the young lady's room and you can see coming out of this sliding door, you've got access over there with a home this beautiful. I don't want to go either. Now to talk about this area right here, you've got wrought iron railings wrapping all the way around it. But something that a lot of people don't notice until it's too late and this home has got you covered is the privacy from a balcony like this. In a state, privacy is such a key thing, an integral thing. And you can see it's taken care of not only from the tree lines, you can see there are trees covering all the windows of the neighboring houses, but also the houses tend to face inward, so into your garden. So you know you can sit down, relax on your balcony and have all the privacy you could ever need. But guys, that does bring us to the end of the show, the end of the Home Shopper Show. Remember, Mondays to Fridays, you can always tune in but a lot of you are probably asking yourself Chad I want this home I want to buy this home I want to view this home what are the steps I need to take to do that well ladies and gentlemen the contact details of the agents from finding country Santon that is where this home is being advertised are on screen right now so don't hesitate to give them a call drop them a mail get in touch with them because a home like this is gonna fly off the market very very quickly but if you're looking for a budget home all the way to the ultra ultra luxurious don't forget to visit www.privateproperty.co.za where we encompass listings from every single agency across south africa but that brings us to the end my name is chad riveros this was a private property home shopper show we cannot wait to see you every monday and friday at 8 p.m thank you so much see you soon and goodbye <laughs>